Good morning, good morning, good morning. Hop on in, everybody. Hop on in. Oh, we gon' we gotta talk this morning, Lord. We gotta we gotta have a discussion. We have to have a discussion on today on this good morning. Good morning, good morning. I know I'm a little late, y'all. There's a reason. <laughs> good morning, good morning, Mandy. Good morning, good morning. We know for some more people to get up in here before we get it cracking, before we get it cracking. Good morning, good morning. Good morning, good morning, good morning. Good morning, everybody. Good morning. Hop on in, hop on in, hop on in. We're about to get it cranking. We're about to get it rolling. Good morning, good morning, good morning. Come on, share it up. Share up the post so we can get some more people up in here real quick. So we can hit it real smooth and we can dip up out of here. Real quick, y'all, real quick. But we got we to have a discussion. We have to have a discussion today. Jesus. Good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning. Glad to see y'all coming in on today. Good morning, good morning. All right, let's get it cranking, let's get it going, let's get it popping, let's get it popping. Good morning, y'all. So for all the new faces that's up in here, y'all know how we normally get down and some of y'all don't. Um, we're going to start off with our morning affirmation. So if I say I am, you have to finish the phrase with whatever you need for the day. Courageous, smart, um, forgiving, progressive, happy, released, whatever you need. So let's start it off. I am. I will be. I need. I have. I will acquire and I have good morning good morning good morning everybody thank y'all for popping in on this morning and listen we need it's gonna be short and simple today but you know if it hit me you gotta hit y'all bruh so we gonna talk about decisions let's let's talk about this so just a, a quick little something about me and what I and what I went through yesterday slash today so for all y'all that do or don't know, you know, every Wednesday I fast, you know, and, and it's a lot more than just not eating. It's a real spiritual thing. You know, I, I take the time to really meditate and pray on the things I feel as though I need. I don't eat at all on Wednesdays, no food, no nothing. The most I'll eat is the teas that I'm drinking, like any herbal teas that I'm drinking, but it's just water all day. And, you know, I, I had it was different. Yes, it was really different. I had my fast. And so, you know, I start off a little hungry than normal. Normally, I'm not really hungry in the morning like that, but I was hungry. And, you know, the day was going by and it was kind of it was up and down. You know, I had like these weird cravings and, and desires and stuff like that. But I, I kind of, you know, I kept everything where it needed to be. You know, it's just it's just that my human side was like really pulling at me yesterday. So, you know, I go. um, What I was doing, oh yeah, I was uh. I was drinking some water and then my client pulled up. I was like, okay, cool. I can distract myself a little bit more. I need to work out anyway. You know, I typically work out with my client, Cree, that comes in here a lot and watches the live streams. So, you know, we go work out and everything. And I was like, dang, it just made me even more hungry than what I was before. Which it normally do does, but like it was like a crazy amount of hungry. So I'm like, all right, cool, whatever. We're gonna we're gonna just pile through this and drinking my water, drinking my teas, I'm satiating myself, you know, and then I uh so I was like, you need to go pray. I was like, all right, cool. So I uh, I leave the living room because me and Amber was watching um was watching TV. She, I don't, she had something American Horror, so I think that's what it is. So I go up, come in my come in here, come in my studio, my prayer room, and then you know I'm hitting I'm hitting the floor. I'm praying for about ten minutes for everything that I need, everything I feel as though I need to pray for, everything I'm seeing, anything I'm concerned about. You know, fast day going pretty good. So you know the day's wrapping up, going to sleep. It's about like ten. It's about 10, no, 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 what, it was like 9 something. It was about like 9, 15, somewhere around there. And my cravings just got horrible. And I caved in, I ain't even gonna lie, y'all, I caved in. I was like, you know what, the day's done. I did my fast for the majority. I don't know why I was thinking like this, y'all. That just goes to show how your brain be whenever you really want something. Just fighting fighting against your human side. I was like, you know what, yeah, I'm gonna I'm I'm a, I'm a dig in. You know, I only got like two more hours left until 12 o'clock. 12 o'clock is technically, you know, the next day. I could have I could have waited two more hours. But, you know, that happens. And then... I I go to sleep, and if y'all know me, the Lord talks to me. I'm talking about very transparently through dreams, 
and very clearly through dreams. And I had the worst dream that I've had in a while. All my other dreams was like, all right, cool. Yeah, this means this. This is the symbolism for this. This is that. And that is this. This dream felt like I was in the dream world for about a week. It was a very long, long, long dream. And I was getting fussed at for breaking that dog on fast. Like, and how I know specifically, and I ain't gonna dive too deep about the, the dream I had because a lot of people gonna y'all don't a lot of people don't really know how to how to perceive the symbolisms in the dream, so it can come off as very um very psychotic and very crazy, but like it, it means it means something. It was a big message. And um in the dream you know, the lady was like, you had two more hours. You couldn't wait two more hours. And it's like I had an out-of-body experience in that moment because, as y'all know, I'm a lucid dreamer. And the conscious side of me was like, dang, nigga, like, you thought, like, you had ideas. Okay, maybe this dream is about what you did. You know, because I went to sleep a little apprehensive about breaking the fast early. And then that just clarified it all. It was like, yeah, they, this is exactly why you're having this dream. But I'm thankful that God gave me a warning. You know, it's like I'm not saying I'm not saying I'm not going to have to go through something for it or like, you know, it might set me back a little bit. But I'm more so glad that the repercussions and the, the cause and effect of what happened, Um, because I, I, I did pray after I woke up. It was it was a horrible dream, y'all. But after, I, you know, I took the time to calm down and I started dissecting the dream and I prayed. Someone's like, just pray. Talk to God. And it's so funny. Me and God relationship is so funny, bro. Because like even <laughs> even whenever he had asked me, he was like, was it worth it? And I chuckled. I was like. Yeah, <laughs> I was like, yeah, we're just being, I mean, just being honest, I felt as it was worth it. But in hindsight, it really wasn't, you know, I, I was like, you know, I'm, I apologize, you know, I repent for it. I'm sorry, because you got to be, you got to be real with God in them situations. It's like, if, if y'all going to have a conversation, like you want to have a conversation and do really trying to spit them facts to you and like really tell you about yourself and really trying to tell you something, you should be honest, you know, be real, but listen, you know, and God was like, you know, what could have happened here's what saved me what saved me was that i was so i've been diligent for like over a week now and a lot of stuff like just my practices and all of that i've been real diligent with the new system that god's given me you know i've been real i've been real grateful you know i've been sticking to my disciplines and my principles and stuff like that and I'm, i mean i'm human i make mistakes you know that was like that was like my first mess up in a while and and he was and he was like because you've been being so consistent i'm gonna let you off with a warning i'm not saying you're going to be still, you know, you're still going to be like flowing per se. I, I'm, I'm trying to say a lot what I was saying a lot um, without being too specific about certain things. Um, but like, you know, you still you, you're still going to be flowing and doing what you do. But like just for like a few days, you know, you're going to feel the the consequences of your actions. I'm still going to be there. I'm still going to provide this, that and the third. But, you know, you got I mean, I, it wouldn't be right if you didn't get some form of um, what's the word? I'm reprimand for what happened, you know, but overall what saved me was like my consistency up until that point you know so i woke up this morning and i talked about my dream with amber dissected and it's so crazy her dream was so parallel to mine we've been doing this thing so well, like we've really been interpreting dreams in the morning and i love it it's been doing wonders for our relationship um but man that, that was that was one dream to have and that leads me to say uh to 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 really inspire or to like really let you guys know to like to just just stay true to whatever you're sacrificing. Stay true to whatever you're putting time to the side for, you know, prayer to the side for. Well, you don't have to be necessarily fasting like I am, but it's the principles of a lot of things. It's the it's the routine of a lot of things and the sacrifice of a lot of things that you need to do in order to get to where you have to go or stay consistently on the path of where you are. Because oftentimes we're on the path, you know, we know where we want to go, but the path that you're on is going to bring way more than what you feel as though the ending is going to bring, you know, because the ending is just a compilation of everything you're going through on your path. You know, so I, I say all this to say, man, y'all stay consistent, you know, and, and I'm not saying, oh, goof off and, oh, God will forgive us and blah, 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 blah. I just so happened to get that from God whenever he had talked to me about it, you know, but who's to say if I would have did it weeks later or months later what the reprimand would have been you know so don't don't take don't take what you're sacrificing and what you're disciplining and what you're on a regimen for for granted you know like just hold out if you have to hold out wait if you have to wait be consistent if you have to be consistent you know and, and really dial a dial a now back find ways to really really dial that now back and get to where you need to be because if not you never know what could happen that's a, that's the that's the that's the crazy part about life and about I, I'm not even going to try to put it all on like God, the devil or anything like that. It's like you reap what you sow, 
you know, like if you if the thing you're if the thing you want requires consistency, discipline and, you know, a different change of mind, a different personality, you know, really tapping into that next level, then you shouldn't be surprised or you shouldn't, you know, feel as though you can get away with slipping up here and there and like, oh, it's fine. You know, I'm still be on that same level. It's like, no, nah, it's, it's like it takes a certain type of consistency. Like we're humans. We have our mess ups and stuff like that. But, you know, if it's something that's simple, like my situation out there, you could have wait two more hours. You know what I'm saying? It's like, dude, <laughs> it, don't don't mess up something that could be real big just because you have these crazy impulses, you know? And it's like, just learn how to dig pack you, past your cravings and learn how to dig past your desires because there's there's parts in life that you can't get to until you learn how to master that. You know, I feel as though my test the other day was it's kind of it was kind of like a heat check if all y'all that watch basketball don't you know like you got people that they'll give them the ball and they're just like you know if the play doesn't necessarily draw you up oh this person has to shoot a three or this that and the third but just to see how hot they is okay am i am i feeling it okay i made that three they give them the ball again on the next play okay i made that three too okay so heat check so far i'm in rhythm give me another one boom i hit three back to back i'm in rhythm you know what i'm saying so it's it's like keep your rhythm going going form your rhythm and stuff like that but i feel like the test for me was to like to see you know, where are you? Cause like that, as opposed to how I was three, four months ago, bruh, <laughs> whole different person. So I'm grateful that, you know, there was still a positive outlook overall on, you know, the situation at hand, but at the same time, you know, it's good to be shown and it's good to be, it's good to have an experience that shows you, um, not only who you are, but in the sense of like what you need to continue to work on and how you move forward in life. Because if you decide to go through those experiences and get those messages and get those type of ups and downs or whatever, and you don't really per se do anything about it or like you just happy go lucky, find where you at. I'm not saying anything bad is going to happen, but you have to be aware that you made that decision. You know, it's like regardless of how you feel in the moment, regardless of how what led up to that moment, every every piece of our life and where we are, the little pieces that make up who we are and where we are in life. Is all based off of decisions, you know, so if you're if you're not making the best decisions or if you, you know, regardless of the situation, you make an X, Y and Z type of decisions where you just need to understand that that's your layout. That's your result. Whatever you put in is what you're going to get out, you know, so make sure that you guys are being consistent. That's my word of the day. Like be so consistent to the point to where if and when you do somewhat slip up, it's okay because you've been being so consistent and your next level is to not fall over that same rock. Because that same rock going to be in the road a few miles down just to see if you got it, you know. So just make sure that you're um you're really you're really nailing it. And it, and it, it can it's a lot easier said than done. But like you got to learn how to really nail your situations and how to really look back and look through. Like like you know I say hindsight is twenty twenty. Never even though it can be it can be a very hopeful, very hurtful moment sometimes. It's okay to look back and learn from your mistakes. It's okay to look back and all the stuff you did at the mess ups or the decisions that you made. It's okay to look back and learn from it. Just don't dwell in it or, or let it repeat because now you have a visual or you have a template of, okay, when this situation comes, when these people come, when this happens, when this happens, what do you do? Because you know what you did last time and what happened. Okay, so now you have an opportunity or another chance now that it's come full circle or just further down in the road what decision are you going to make? Are you going to be consistent this time? Are you going to be, you know, are you going to be better than your last self? Are you going to fall back? What are you going to do? That's all based off of you. But at the end of the day, regardless if it's in life, if it's uh, in your job, something personal, you know, in anything in general, consistency will always win. <clears throat> Excuse me. Hard work is going to always win. You know, being disciplined will always win because discipline is that thing that pushes you over the edge when you're not motivated got a lot of people that have way more discipline than motivation and they get far, 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 far in life, but it's because they don't change. They are disciplined and they stay in their routine or they stay in the things that's going to push them forward in life, you know, but if you just rely on motivation 24 seven to keep you locked into a fast, locked into a good type of workflow, locked into creativity, this, that, and the third, and you don't have a routine or a discipline to kind of keep you in there, it's just... You're just going to be stuck, man. You're going to be one of those situations where it's like it's so inconsistent. It's up, it's down, it's left, it's right. And you can't really pull what you need to pull out of the situation. But if you have that discipline and in, in those routines and the things that keep you rooted and the things that keep you moving forward or that no, or like if you know you get like this when you're like this and when you do something else to help you pull, you know, there's something you can do 
to get you out of those situations or to get you out of that mindset, that's discipline. That's knowing what you can do or having a routine that typically works, that pulls you to or from where you need to be. You know, so just don't don't give up on being disciplined. Don't give up on being very regimented in what you need in life or what you want to get out of life, because a lot of things that we want requires that type of thing. You know, yeah, it's OK to be motivated and motivation can get you really, really far. But, you know, I'll be lying if I'm sitting here and being like, oh, every day I'm motivated every day. You know, I want to do things enthusiastically every day. I'm just waking up and just, ah, yeah, I'm ready to get it. No, nah, that's not real life. That's not real life at all. I'm human. I'm a regular person trying to be a better person. And I have my days to where it's like I have my ups, I have my downs, I have my motivational days and I have my I don't want to do it days. I have my sad days. I have my happy days. But my discipline, you know, and my fortitude and the things that's pushing me forward is keeping me to where I need to be and where I'm going to go. But like I said, today was going to be short. Uh, I don't want to milk the cow too much. And we got some real big for tomorrow. But uh, shout out to all you guys that came through today, man. I love you all. And we're going to end with our affirmations. So whatever I say, you say on your end vocally. I am forgiven. I am moving forward. I am disciplined. I am learning. I am growing. I am prosperous. I am loved. And I am progressing forward. I love you guys. Have a great day. I hope all is well. I'll see you guys on tomorrow. Hopefully. I ain't gonna spoil the surprise. I hope that I see you guys on tomorrow. God's prayer. I love you guys. Peace and chicken grease.